many people who went to Catholic schools have all kinds of stories about how rough the teachers were. My experience wasn't like that. In fact, I had a number of nuns who taught in my school who really conveyed a number of important life lessons. For instance, there was Sister Mary Margaret, my math teacher in junior and senior high. Uh, she taught advanced math and calculus. And when it came to math, she was really a mystic. When she would talk about number and infinity and try to describe pi, she would look off into the corner of the classroom and it was like she went into a trance. And as she talked about these concepts and about her wonderment at the concepts, she would convey in the end that there was something about equations, something about math that was essentially beautiful. It was whole. It was integrated. She introduced me to the concept of math and beauty. My physics teacher was similar in that, with Sister Mary Eudes. Now, Sister Mary Eudes was strict and very rigorous in everything she did, but she took a real interest in her students, and those who wanted to learn more about physics, she would invite to come in after school and work in the lab, and she would mentor them. Those who had real science aptitude or were interested in going on further in science, she would really teach very carefully how to keep a lab notebook, how to write procedures, and all the things that really went into science as a profession. Me, well, she recognized I was not going to be a scientist. So she taught me how to make crystals. And as she taught me and I got better at making crystals and, and were, was able to make clear crystals that, that refracted light, she sat with me looking at the crystals and the various colors with light behind them. And she reflected with me about the symmetry, the clarity and the beauty and how physics captured the balance and beauty of the cosmos, capturing in science the beauty of nature. And I always remember her kind smile and the sparkle in her eye as she would reflect on my very simple crystals in her lab. I often talk about spirituality in terms of meaning and purpose, but another way of talking about spirituality is in terms of beauty and awe. And, and my teachers that I've just talked about were women who understood beauty in nature and in science, and they had a connection in that way, and that connection drew them more fully into the great mystery of life. The thing about beauty and awe is that when it captures us, it pulls us out of our regular state of consciousness and causes us to look in a very different way at life. It doesn't matter whether it's art or theater or performance, math or nature or science. However it is that we encounter beauty, it draws us out in a way that makes us more whole and helps us to experience a deeper connection. The Navajo people of the Southwest, the people who call themselves Diné, have a fundamental concept in their culture called Hajan. Hajan is a concept that's translated into English as beauty, but it means so much more than beauty. It's about balance and wholeness, integration, strength and confidence. The understanding of Hajan is that a person in balance, a person living well, the way we are meant to live, walks in this beauty in a way that's interconnected with everyone and everything around them. There's a beauty way ceremony that often gets translated on the internet into sort of a prayer or poem that talks about beauty in front of me and behind me, above me and below me, to my right and to my left. It's a simplification of the ceremony, but it evokes the sense that beauty surrounds us in every moment. And it's our choice to live in that beauty, to live in that awareness, to experience the beauty around us as well as the experience, experience the beauty within us. 
And it's by being aware of that beauty within us and around us that we move through life in a way that is balanced and whole and integrated, that we live well, that we live in a way that I would call meaningful and purposeful. Thanks for your time listening today. I appreciate your attention to some of the things I'm talking about. I hope that you'll subscribe to this YouTube channel, that you'll leave some comments, and that you'll be sure to ring that bell so that you're aware of when new videos are posted. Thank you.